Hello, welcome back to How to D&D. Today it's character building. And um, for those of you who are wondering, what's going on, Fred? I'm not completely sure. Well, we're building a warlock today. Um, I'm going to talk about building warlocks. Um, this is essentially the same program I have run, just shortened, because we're probably going to be building a character beyond level one. In fact, we are going to be building a character beyond level one. We've built a level one character for a warlock. We need to extend ourselves a little bit further. The only way for me to make that possible is to actually cut down the material I deliver to you so that we can do that. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't work. So um, that's what's going on, if you're kind of curious. I'm going to put up a poll right now and uh, let you uh, respond to that. I will be doing a very short presentation and then we'll go straight into character creation. How's it going, um, Noroak? Welcome, how are you doing? Good day to you. Now, let me just get rid of this. My suggestion to you is uh, grab yourself your phone, a piece of paper, and a pen, some dice. We are going to build a character together. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say right now is that you probably want to have your phone open and either have your laptop or desktop working so you can do it online if you're doing it online. If you're not doing it online, then paper and pencil is fine and your phone turned on and uh, aimed at me. Okay, so we've, we've done all that. I've got my um, earplugs out. I'm pretty much ready to go. We'll do my slideshow, go into Q&A, and then we'll make our character. And I'll let you guys respond to that poll and sort of everything out at your end. Okay, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, yes, I do believe we are. And if I got that, I need this one. And then, yep. Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Today's topic is character building. We're going to build a warlock character. This is the basics to building a warlock, but we're going to extend ourselves a little bit. I'm going to give you the basics, and then you're going to do some more with it. The first thing about building a warlock is charisma should be your highest ability score because it's directly connected to how well you use your warlock magic. It's also wise to increase your charisma score to 20 reasonably quickly. Charisma is your second most important ability score because it relates to how long your warlock will survive in the battle. Now, proficiency with a skill is not so important. It's far more flexible in this case. And so any of the um, uh, skills offered, you can select anything you like, okay? Probably a good idea to select a skill that's related to your otherworldly patron that you've taken, but not essential. You will find that charisma-based skills like deception and intimidation, you will probably be better at because you will have a high charisma modifier. Pick the best light armor you can get as quickly as possible, like studded leather armor, of course, we're going to have to extend our armor class at some point, but there are different ways of doing that. Uh, you'll probably want to be aiming for medium armor if you can. Otherwise, you'll need to use some sort of spell to improve your armor class as we extend ourselves beyond level 1 and level 2. Select the Eldritch Blast Damage Dealing Cantrip. Okay, It is uh, essentially the Warlock spell. That is the Warlock spell, and it's kind of silly that it isn't hard-baked into the class itself, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, hopefully the designers will fix that problem with the Warlock, because the Warlock is a blaster. Uh, this is the, the whole feature of that class. <coughs> so Eldritch Blast, <coughs> it would be silly not to take it. Uh, the rest are better off being utility cantrips to give you the best balance of gameplay and some flexibility. So things like Mage Hand, really useful, Minor Illusion, minor illusion and Prestidigitation. You, can, you only get two first level spells at character level one. So ensure you have the better spells. Hex should be the first thing you take and then one other from your expanded spell list or the following um, options I would suggest to you. Now, because you have such a limited range of spells, you need to be very careful about you what you pick up, because you need to make sure you're making you're picking something that you will use often, and not only use often, but uh, you will find plenty of uses for 
right throughout from level one right through to the higher levels of play. So I would say charm persons there. Uh, comprehend languages, always useful. Unseen servant, not taken enough, a very good spell. Armor of Agathus, uh, yes, a very good spell. And also Hellish Rebuke. They are a kind of, you know, each one has their own purpose. The better Eldritch uh, Invocations are Armor of Shadows, if you need to improve that armor class and you're not going to be wearing he uh, medium armor or heavy armor of some kind. Uh, beguiling Influence, good for... Um, affecting people uh, when you need to do some sort of social interaction. Devil Sight and Eldritch Sight are all excellent, you'll use them. Uh, Mask of Many Faces, also very useful, different part of the game, obviously. Uh, Misty Visions, good. Beast Speech, also a very good uh, evocation. Now all these ones I've selected do not have a prerequisite, they are not based on a specific type of build, they are your general, generic sort of things that you will use with any kind of um, warlock. Now, I'm also going to include all of the Eldritch Blast evocations. They're all excellent. Agonizing Blast and Eldritch Spear probably at the top end. I would go with Agonizing Blast first, just because it d makes your, um, your blasty weapon uh, do more damage. The best feats for a warlock will generally be moderately armored, so you can improve your armor class. Warcaster, because you're going to need to concentrate on those uh, those spells that have concentration attached to them, and I'm looking at you, Hex. And then Lucky is always useful for any uh, class, because you get to re-roll some dice. Alert, because you don't get surprised, and you get a huge bonus to your uh, initiative. Inspiring Leader helps the entire party out, so a very good uh, feat to pick up. And then Spell Sniper, because... Frankly, you're probably going to be using long-range spells, and which one will that be? That'll be your Eldritch Blast, so Spell Sniper makes a lot of sense as well. These are all the basics around a Warlock. Now, there are, of course, specialized builds that you can uh, get involved in. That is not the purpose of this presentation. The purpose is to tell you what is essentially necessary for a Warlock, and then you go from there. All the rest of the choices are up to you. Now, I hope that this was useful to you, and if it was, fantastic. If you have questions, please provide them down in the comments section. If you have any feedback, please provide that as well. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s. So there, I'm done. Now, for those of you who are expecting all of the other stuff that I normally say, well, yes, I may say those things, but um, not today, because we won't have time. Uh, we need a lot more time to actually build a character to an appropriate level. And as it happens, and I suspected, and I did this deliberately, okay? I have stacked my poll deliberately. I know perfectly well that there are more people who want to build a character to level 3 than level 2 or level 1. So I have manipulated you big time, okay? Um, <laughs> and... And don't feel bad about this. My intention was always to have character creation at level 1, then character creation at level 3, and then character creation probably at level 5. I don't know if level 5s can be done in the time frame that I have allowed, but we will certainly find out if we can do it to level 3 today. So um, thank you for those of you who provided me with exactly what I expected would happen. Um, now those of you who have figured out that I've just told you this are probably going to try to figure out can I, can I manip manipulate the poll? Well, since there's nine votes already down and there's only 10 of you here, it's too late. <laughs> okay. Hello, Norok. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I have to say it is a, an interesting day for me as I look at uh, the things that are taking place. And um, something had come through just recently. Um, ah. Ah. That's interesting. Hmm. D now, so I just realized, Norok, I've been calling you a patron for some time, and it's just today that you've become one. Welcome to B Patreon with uh, How to D&D, &D, uh, Norok. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, the best way to support this program, by the way, uh, this is a live stream that I do every week where we build a character together. Uh, you will be doing a lot of the character building, not me, okay? I will just be taking the information and, and plugging it in. Um, 
so yeah, Patreon's the best way. A dollar a month or more if you want to pay, you get a lot of stuff on Patreon. I, I, I dish out quite a bit of information, so uh, mostly for Dungeon Masters, but there is other stuff there as well. So uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinomancer, also a patron, welcome to the channel, nice to see you. Um, is, it, is it Garyon of uh, Rivera? Of Rivera, hello, how are you? Um, East Yorkshire, England, hello, Great Britain, I know where it is, cool, welcome. Uh, hopefully I got your name right. I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna struggle sometimes. Dinomancer, oh, Sheffield's, right, okay, good to know, good to know. Right, so, uh, scrolling on down here, Pale Rider, hello, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> yes, hitting the like button, button, you know, hit the like button is really useful, okay? YouTube likes it when uh, there's a, a good turnout on the like button. <laughs> no, I don't think we're going to, we're not going to boil, boil anybody's skin uh, to make leather armor. Sounds very gruesome. Hello, Spirit Wolf. Welcome. Uh, so those of you who are unaware, you need to be on your game with your phone when you're putting in your um, your vote, you know, your decisions about character creation. Because Spirit Wolf is speed demons and got really good internet. Uh, so be prepared. <laughs> ah, I re ah you redubbed today. Oh, you are, oh, I see. I thought you were. Oh, that, and then I saw an email come through and I was like, hang on, I'm sure he was already before. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Okay, bit of confusion on my part. Uh, best things from uh, Patreon is those uh, cool monsters and NPC sheets uh, we get. Well, Dynomancer, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, because with the monster stuff, you're getting the stat block that we re remaster because um, we have been remastering a lot of monsters, and you get all the information on the monsters, like everything you could possibly imagine, it's there. And the NPC um, sheets are, are good. Uh, look, if you guys ever want me to make the characters that we make in this um, available on Patreon, the the patrons just need to let me know. Just let me know on Patreon. Just send me a message, message through there. If you're not interested, that's fine. Ah, it didn't auto renew due uh, due to card issues. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, Dungeons and Chronics. Hello, welcome. How are you? Um, out east yoga journey. Cool, blimey, what a name. Um, a new found land. Oh, you're in Canada. Hello. Okay, let's get on with the character building process, shall we? Uh, that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. Apparently, <laughs> let's let's get that uh, underway, shall we? We we we've got to have give ourselves plenty of time since we're not building a character to just level one. We're actually going a bit further today, so we need to actually give ourselves plenty of time, don't we? So I will just zip that over there. I'll make sure this is open here. I will open my phone and ensure that my phone is up to date, so I can see. I will take these off because that's probably not going to help me. Um, I'm going to do my very, very best not to wind up getting sidetracked. At the top of the hour, I will take a break. But so far, we seem to be doing all right. Okay. Um, Tiefling Warlock Classic. Right. Yep. Remember, don't put in your, your, your decision about what you want until I put in my hashtag thing. Okay. I am aware that um, Spirit Wolf is fast on the draw with this sort of thing. So anyway, let's go over here. Now, for today, for those of you who are unaware what my intention is, we are on D&D Beyond. We're going to use D&D Beyond to do this, okay? D&D uh, Beyond is offline. Really? Learn more. Uh, is it offline? Please tell me it is not offline. That would be bad. We're going to go to create a character under collections I can only have a certain number of characters I probably have to delete a few oh, no 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 I've only got three so that's fine so we're going to go to create a oh that's hang, hang on now this is the free version if I go through this version this is the free version we're not going to use the free version we're going to use everything today so we're going to go back sorry about that should have uh, should have made that clear shouldn't I so um, um, is it my homebrew creations, my campaigns? I think it's my campaigns. And uh, we go down here, and this is it. View the campaign. I am part of somebody else's campaign. 
and then we're going to create an unassigned character. This will allow us to use everything under the sun. Uh, <laughs> super competitive today. All right. So um, I need to move my face because I'm in the way. I can see it now. Yes, I'm going to confirm this. So just let me just sh go back to um, this thing. Oh, no, no, no. It's, okay, it's shifted it. Okay, that was just for the first part. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, so let's let's continue, shall we? So homebrew content. We're not turning that on, but we'll turn on Critical Role, Magic the Gathering, Eberron, Rick and Morty if you really want, non-core stuff, Dragonlance content. Yes, the Dragonlance content is now available. Okay, I uh, I did see. Uh, we're going to enable our dice rolling. Uh, we're going to go with um, optional class features. Yes, we'll turn that on. Origins, we'll turn that on. Customizing origins. Uh, we're going to have milestones rather than experience points, primarily because I am the dungeon master today, and I am making the character with you, so I'm going to let you use milestones rather than uh, hit points. Easier for me, frankly. Okay, so hit points can be fixed or manual. I don't want to enter them manually, frankly. I Do I really want to enter them manually? Fixed or manual, fixed or manual, fixed or manual. Hmm. Should I let you roll, should I let people roll the dice as we level up? We're going to go manual. Oh, 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 no. Are you sure? Manually entering those hit points. That means you will need to have the right hit, uh, the right dice for rolling for hit dice. Because we will roll our hit dice today. Now, you should make sure that all these things that I'm turning on, your dungeon master is all right with. Okay? You can't just use whatever you like without talking to your dungeon master. We're going to use encumbrance. No encumbrance for your int rolls. So I'll just leave that on. Ignore coin weight. Um, yeah, we'll turn it on. Modifier. Now, your ability score, modifier, or score. Which one do you want at the top? The one that was the biggest that we want to use the most is probably the modifier. The bigger number, um, the, the, the score... The ability score we don't actually need to use that often so we're going to make that smaller so that's going to be at the bottom and the top one will be our modifier so that's we'll keep that we're going to make this public you're going to create a name now there is a randomizer at the top here that i can press and there's a little um, button for putting in a portrait we're not going to worry about that and you can also go to fantasy name generator but no um i'm going to go hashtag create a warlock name now don't put it in until I pump this here because I will not take it um, otherwise. You have to wait until I press the button. Okay. All right. Those of you who are here, while I have a drink of water, since I've been talking quite a bit, I'm going to let you pump in some names. I will select a name that I like the look of and I'll put it in there. Ah. Hereath the Herald. Noro got in there pretty quick. Not too bad. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty impressed. Spirit Wolf's got his vote in. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see which one I pick. Don't you think? I know it will be. Okay, so, um, well, just because you've used two words that kind of go together, I'm going to go with Noroak. It's not to say I don't like Spirit Wolves, and if somebody else can come up with a better name, I will take that. But Bay War, Bay War, Pale Rider's gone with Bay War. Herath, the Herald. Herath, the Herald's very sort of uh, silver surfer, um, silver surfer, silver surfer. As in the Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer. Yes, okay, cool. We'll take that name for now. Um, if anybody got a better name, let me know. We think we are ready to move on. We've selected everything we needed. Moving along. Okay. I hate to say it, we're getting a big loading screen. We're using all sources. Now, pick a race. Hashtag. Any race you like. Sorry, pick a race. Now, I know it's going to be called Species in the Future, but that's not our issue right now, okay? Pick a race. Right, <clears throat> now, I will call out what the races are while you decide what you would like. We have Aarakocra, we have the Legacy one, we have the new one, the Azima, uh, both versions, um, Air Genasi, um, Astral Elves, 
uh, auto gnomes, bugbear, centaur, two different versions, changeling, two versions. The customized lineage, which is from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, we have the Deep Gnome, the Dragonborn, Duragar, Dwarf, Elf Genasi, the Eladrin, <laughs> and uh, Elves up to Kaboo. There's like 13 of these things. Uh, Fairy, uh, Furbolg, there's two of them. There's a Fire Genasi, there is a just a Genasi Genasi, there's the Gith, the Hippo people. Uh, yes, <laughs> Gith. The Githyanki, the Githzerai, the Gnome, the Goblin, the G there's two of them. Goliath, there's two of those. Grug, um, Hadozi, Flying Monkeys, hoo hoo, yeah, three, um, Wizard of Oz. Half Elf, Half Orc, Half Fling, Haragon, oh, it's a rabbit person. <clears throat> the Hobgoblin, Hobgoblins, there's two of them. Uh, there is the Human, oh, there's seven of those things, cool, blimey. Um, Kalishtar, Kalishtar, I believe that's from Aberon. Uh, the Kender, there's a Kender there from the Dragon Lance Shadow of the Dragon. It is now currently available because I now have access to it. Thank you very much to the person who has been responsible for making that possible. Does that mean I will be talking about the Shadow of the Dragon Lance in the future? Yes, because if you haven't figured it out, it is scheduled on my channel under the live streams. Okay, Ken Ku. Two of them, Kobolds, Leonin, that's a lion person. Um, we have the lizard folk, line lineages, I'm not exactly sure what that is. We have the, what is it, it's like a, um, a catfish person. Lokatha, Lokatha, Katha, something like that. So Lokatha. Um, Minotaur, two of those. Orcs, we have Alan, if you want to be an owl folk. Uh, Plasmoid, that's right, you can be an ooze. Uh, Sater, it's, uh, you know what a Sater is, um, Sea Elves, uh, Shadokai, there's the Shifters, there's the the Simic Hybrid, the Tabaxi, which is Cat Person, uh, Thycreen, basically you're an Ant Person, um, Insect Person, uh, the <clears throat> Tiefling, the Tortle, cool. do you think there's a lot of choices, uh, Triton, um, uh, Vulcan, <laughs> it's not really Vulcan, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, <laughs> then the Warforged, uh, Water Denasi, um, Yuanti, and Yuanti Pure Blood. So there's a lot of different things here. Whew. Let's have a look and see which one got the most votes and which one I decide to pick out of the ones you've suggested. There are so many to pick from. Um, so yes, uh, let's uh, let's have a look at um, at what we have here as our choices. So when uh, so Spirit Wolf wants the Kenda, of course. Um, Dungeons and Chronics would like a dwarf, uh, Pale Rider, a Hobgoblin. Prefer Hobgoblin, Pale Rider rather than human. Fear up, fear enough, Hobgoblin. I, I don't think I've ever done Hobgoblin. I'd be inclined to, to think that would be fun. Uh, Dungeons and Chronics has also said. Morale the Dread. Morale the Dread. Oh, I like the name. Morale the Dread. Morale the, the Dread. Um, hmm? Morale the Dread or the other name? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to write down Morale the Dread. I do feel like that's a that's a pretty scary uh, name. So I'll put that down there. Morale. Uh, morale the Dread. I feel like it needs his first name needs to be start with a D. He can't be Dread the Dreaded. Morale the um, dreaded. Can't be morale. I uh, can't be dreaded the dreaded. Dread the dreaded? No, no, no. Uh, an ogre mage. You want an ogre? Do we have ogre? I don't believe we have ogre as an option. <clears throat> so ogre's probably out. Okay, so yeah. Nice try. <laughs> Halfling. We could uh, be on the uh, the mission to ensure our kind doesn't become food. The halflings for a rule and consume it all. Yes, they could. Right. So. Let's have a look here. Um, based off the votes that I've that have been put in, I am going to go with something. They're beginning with. Let's do a hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. No, I'm only kidding. We're going to do a kinder. Of course, we're going to do a bloody kinder. There's a thing we got released like today, so everybody's like, "Oh, a kinder! Let's do a kinder." And let's get real. Who in their right mind would think that a kinder would be a warlock? So, yeah. 
a snail man. If there was an option for a snail man, I'd take it. So instead, we're going to go with the Kenda. Um, so Kenda, we're a humanoid, we're small, we have a walking speed of 30 feet. Apparently, our length of our legs makes no difference to whatsoever nowadays. We are fearless. Uh, really, you have advantage on saving throws to avoid being frightened. How, what happened to being immune? That means then, then we really are not going to be frightened. Um, advantage just seems a bit tame. Kenda aptitude. Uh, so basically get proficiency one of the following skills insight investigation sleight of hand stealth and or survival well let me guess I think most people are going for sleight of hand it's all right to steal from the NPCs it's not all right to steal from your other friends playing at the table the other characters leave them alone leave them alone oh it was supposed to be more oak oh okay well that's that's different I, I feel like Dungeons and Chronics that's that's uh, that's that's more more uh, that's more fearsome. That is fearsome. We, if I get a chance, we might change the name. Okay. So uh, and snail person taunt. We have a taunt ability. So we're gonna pick the kinder. A kinder warlock of all things. Fred, really? Okay. So so we've done it. Um, now based on this, we will have to make some choices. Okay. So we've already got our creature type, size, speed, fearless, but we've got kinder aptitudes and we've got a taunt we have to do something with. So we'll we'll do that do that now, shall we? So um, our kinder aptitude, we're going to select, hashtag, select uh, kinder aptitude. Uh, aptitude, there we go. Now, what are they? You get insight, investigation, sleight of hand, stealth, or survival. Those are the choices. Pump those in. Pardon me while I burp. Sorry, people. I'm full of gas. I have some serious problems going on in my body. I tell you that. Did I put a hashtag or did I? I oh, I put a divide button. Forget about. So it was supposed to be hashtag. Okay. So ignore the div the, the division. <laughs> <laughs> symbol and just imagine that it's a hashtag in your mind like hashtag not division um and it was someone from here uh, made me made made me this way yeah, <laughs> yeah insight fine we'll take insight i'm fine with that insight is done so thank you noroak uh, <laughs> taunt we're going to do a taunt so pick a taunt hashtag hashtag pick uh, taunt. Where is it? Uh, now, 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 if there's somebody jumps into here that I haven't seen before and you make a vote, I'm probably going to take your vote over the regulars, okay? So, uh, just, just be, be aware that even if you aren't fast enough, okay, I will, I will certainly s consider. Now, the only reason, um, I didn't let anybody have a chance to say anything else is because Noroak put down insight rather than sleight of hand. Um, Spirit Wolf, if you hadn't figured it out, <laughs> I was like, mm, I'm going to pick everything but sleight of hand. <laughs> and so, so, um, so yes, I gave you options, but not really. <laughs> and here, here, so what are we picking for our taunt? Are we going to use charisma, intelligence, or wisdom? Well, we're building a warlock. It would probably make sense that it's charisma. <laughs> Um, slide by my hand, slide by of hand, slide by of hand, slide by, so, yeah, I did a slide of hand uh, trick there uh, with the, uh, so <clears throat> what do you think? It's going to be charisma, right? You don't want intelligence or wisdom. That that might be, that might throw things out slightly. Maybe not. Maybe that's what you want. I don't know. You tell me. Which one do you think is the right one? If we're going to go warlock, do you want to go charisma or do you want to go intelligence or wisdom of course you do um hello dungeon dad hi how's it going josiah how are you it is great to see you i thought um i thought i was never going to get to talk talk to you again um, um josiah I, I, i'm glad to have you with me i'm hoping that in the future we'll get to talk about stuff probably monsters in the future as part of the dungeon master roundtable but i know you're busy Okay, and I know you've had a lot going on. Um, so welcome. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dungeon Dad does monster lore, <clears throat> takes old monsters, makes them new again. And so you should uh, definitely check him out. Gotcha. 
Go charisma. Yes, we got charisma. Everybody's a charisma ring it. We're firing it up. Okay, so let's go with our Kendall Warlock. <laughs> there it is. Now, um, we, we get some certain things, but we're going to have to make some some choices. So I'm not going to go through all of the stuff we get for this thing because there isn't any point. Okay, well, instead I'm just going to I'm just going to select it. Haha, ha, of course, cool. <clears throat> I am home from PAX and sleeping mostly. You'll be sleeping for the next week, Josiah. Um, and we're leading up to Christmas, so that's a, that doesn't make things easy. So I believe that everybody had voted for a level three character, not level one, not level two, but level three so here we go we're picking level three we haven't done this before have we now there are some things we need to select here we have to manage our hit points stuff like that blah de blah de blah de blah 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 okay but before i do that i think what we will do is we're going to go into manage our hit points um, i think we can do that right now and then we'll go down to do proficiencies otherworldly patrons Eldritch Advocations and our Pact Boon. <clears throat> now the Bagman, yes, the Bagman. Who would have been surprised that the Bagman would be successful? Apparently it is. Definitely, definitely when Josiah's doing it. Yeah, not a problem. You see you later. Okay, so um, let's go here. Our modifier, now, it's rolled it for us. And we're going to override the HP, override HP. So there is a, f a couple of things that I want to do here. I want to allow you to roll the dice, people, for two of our levels. Two of our levels, we're going to actually override it and to put in a number here. So what that means is we take the maximum at first level. We're going to give you maximum hit points. So that's it's a D8. So at first level, you're going to get eight hit points. Yep, that's just level one, but we have two more levels. So you need to roll a eight-sided dice, and I'm going to take that number and apply that as um, part of our hit points. So here we go. Hello, Nacho Nacho Man, also a patron. Welcome to the chat. Here we go. So hashtag roll. How did I manage to get that button again? Hashtag, try it again, hashtag roll a d8 for hit points don't put it in just yet wait for me to put it in i'm, I'm gonna put it in now here we go right so now you're gonna roll those hit points <sighs> we could do average but uh this just means that i get to drink some more water uh, and cool and, and <laughs> so Norok, you rolled a two and a six. I'm going to take your two. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody else to roll some dice, Norok. So if I don't take your second number, it's because I'm waiting for somebody else. To, and Spirit Wolf has got a six, a six and a four. I'll take the six. I'll take the two. Uh, you don't have to be apologising, people. You, look again, as I said. If somebody gets in here and puts in, rolls those dice and gets me a number, and it's not the regulars, I will take your number. If I, I can, I'll recognise the re the regulars from from other people. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, you need to be subscribed to be able to use chat. Anyway, so we're taking two and we're taking six two from Noroak. so we'll go up another two. And six. Oh gosh, two people got the same numbers, and then we go to sixteen. So our overall is, is not that bad. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's, no, not bad. So we'll just apply that. That's our overriding HP. Okay, we've done it. We've done it. We've rolled them. It happened. Okay, so let's go into our proficiencies, which is, uh, if you can't see, we get Arcana, Deception, History, Intimidation, Investigation, Nature, and Religion. I did say you could pick anything you like. So pick a... Hashtag, pick a skill. What skill do you want? Any skill will do. We have two skills that we can pick. And uh, as I said, we get to pick two. 
And you can have, as I said, arcana, deception, history, intimidation, investigation, nature, religion. Mm-hmm. Those are your choices. We want arcana. First one in, deception. Oh, 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 we are, we're a bad person. We're a bad person. Is it, is, is being deceptive bad? Yes, it is. It, let's, let's get real. If you're a liar and you're deceptive, yeah, that's not a good thing. But anyway, John B, do you stream games of D&D Life? No, I don't because my players would get me banned from every platform if I did that. Um, and I do not have time to play in more than one game. Uh, so I have tried doing that in the past. Um, so yes, I don't live stream games. I don't want you to watch me playing Dungeons and Dragons or Dungeon Mastering. I just want you to go and play the game or Dungeon Master. I do feel like watching somebody else play the game is a waste of your time. Since your time is valuable, just go play the game. Okay, <laughs> so so John, um, so John B, that's, that's sort of where my head's at. Um, you, you probably will never see me doing live play, but um, I have got my audience to play along with me at times. Usually not an entire adventure though. Um, banned, as in banned, as in axed, as in I would get thrown off. Um, my, my, my group, are, they, they swear, they will say highly inappropriate things that are extremely sensitive, they will upset people. They're also very funny but it's guaranteed to get me um, knocked off YouTube, Twitch TV, you name it, anything. So I, I can't do it. It's just not possible. You're a new grandfather, um, Dungeons & Chronics. Well, well, congratulations. All right, so let's pick our patron. We get a patron. There are a few choices. Hashtag. Hashtag. Um, pick a patron pick a patron pick a patron oh, 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 oh. did i get it right did i put it in the right yeah i don't think that's right yet yeah. pick a patron here we go it's in i'm sure you would love to watch me lots of people have said they have um yeah yeah they would have a lot of fun but i definitely get banned uh i have tried it, it just it just it doesn't it isn't feasible it just isn't feasible so it's not it's not going to happen and my time is better served helping people learn how to build characters how to play the game how to understand the rules how to dungeon master than me playing games do you know what i mean um, there are plenty of people doing that i don't need to do that okay so um great news DC. yes it is loki you want loki how did you come up with loki oh fey okay so fey patron Norok has put in Fay, Blind Beholder. Where did you get Blind Beholder from? And <laughs> choose an option. I mean, it could be a Blind be Beholder, but um, but then it's not the the choices are Arch Fay, the Celestial, the Fathomless, the Fiend, the the Gen the Genie, the Great Old One, the Hexblade, the Undead, and the Undying. Um, so. <laughs> Apparently, only Noroak is paying attention. So, so we, we're picking Fay. Fay it is. Um, it'll be Arch Fay, wasn't it? Arch Fay. There we go. We've got Arch Fay. So, we've got some pack magic. Uh, our choices are there. La 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 la. We'll deal with them later. That's fine. Um, expanded spell list. We have an expanded spell list now. So, Fury, Fire, and Sleep will be an option. Also, Calm Emotions and Phantasmal Force. Blink and Plant Growth. Lovely. And we also get this uh, Fey Presence. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's make an Eldritch. Uh, we need some evocations, baby. We need some evocations. Select an evocation. Hashtag, um, pick an evocation. If you don't what they don't know what they are, I will tell you what they are in a second. I just do not put your vote in until I've put my hashtag in. Okay, otherwise I'm going to ignore it. Pick an evocation. Okay, all right. Now I will tell you what their choices are. Out of the we get two, we get agonizing blast, armor of shadows. Beast Speech, Beguiling Influence, Devil's Sight, 
Okay, we get um, Eldritch Mind, we get Eldritch Sight, we get Eldritch Spear, we get Eyes of the Rune Keeper, what the, we get uh, Fiendish Vigor, mm, um, Gaze of Two Minds, mm, uh, uh, Grasp of Hadar, sounds familiar, um, <laughs> Lance of Lethargy, Lethargy, I think it is, Mask of Many Faces, uh, Misty Visions, Repelling Blast, and Thief of Five Fates, Core. Right. The Mage Armor Evocation. Okay, I will I will take that. You've put in two votes, so I'm just going to take one of those, okay? So we'll go with the Mage Armor. Now, if you're going to take Armor of Shadows, which is essentially Mage Armor, do not try to multi-class to get Armor Proficiency or take a feat to both buff up your Armor class. Complete waste of your time, Okay. Unless you are able to swap out the evocation later on, as you level up, it's a bad idea, okay? Now, as a dungeon master for me, if you were dealing with me, I wouldn't care. I let my players change everything they like, as long as it's not the name and their gear and their money uh, outside of gameplay. But if you don't have a dungeon master that operates that way, make sure it's the right choice. Okay, Beast Speech. Spirit Wolf has put in Beast Speech. Now, I know people are thinking, well, hang on, we didn't take Agonizing Blast. We can take Agonizing Blast some other day. There's there's plenty of evocations to, to go around. We will get more of them, okay? If you have a look at the evocation list and how many there are and how often you get them, uh, you get quite a few, right? You, you, you're not going to get just a couple of these things. The, the table is pretty significant in terms of like how many you get. So we're going to get le one one at level two. Uh, we get some at level two. Uh, we're going to pick up some more later on, I believe. Uh, when is it? I can't remember. Evocations, evocations, evocations. Level two, and then later on at later levels, uh, you're going to, uh, in this level, you're going to, one at this level. Oh, I can't remember it. It's too hard to think. So I'm moving on. Let's go to Pact Boon. What is our Pact Boon going to be? Uh, we have a few things. But let me just put in the Pact Boon, hashtag, hashtag, pick a Pact, oops, Pact my boon, Pact boon. Uh, now, don't put it in just yet, wait for me to put the, hash, put the hashtag through. Okay, all right. Kenda running around talking to little animals. Yes, that's right, be speech um, at, with May Jama essentially. So you get Pact of the Blade, Pact of the Chain, Pact of the Talisman, Pact of the Tome. Um, all of these different packs have their own particular way of playing. I know some people say one is stronger than the other, but when they say that, it's only really about combat, okay? The reality is that you're not just playing to, to kill something. Even though you're a warlock and you're a blaster, um, you don't have to just blast everything that comes your way, okay? Um, the fact that we are building a Kendar Warlock, I feel like I this is this is the first time in 5e. Is this the first time in 5e that somebody's made a Kendar Warlock? This might well be a uh, one of those moments like that stands out in history, the first time it was done. No, up uh, Talisman. Norok said Talisman. We can go with Talisman. I don't even remember what Talisman does. Um, again, I, I'll say it to people, if you are new to my channel and you don't usually use the comment section that much um, and you've subscribed for at least 20 minutes and you want to put a vote in, I will take your vote over the, the regulars who jump into my stream. It's not a problem. Okay, Talisman, let's do that one. So, um, we get some stuff. Um, I'm not going to go over that because we'll deal with it later. Do, do I need to go over it now? Hmm, you have an amulet or talisman that you wear when you wear the ability check. You get us oh, a d4 to a roll, potentially turning the roll into a success. Nice. Okay, so it's a pretty good, it's a pretty solid boost, isn't it? Pact of the Bard Comedian. Uh, I do feel like Pact of the Bard Comedian probably is a, a pact boon somewhere in some world, probably as part of the DM Guild. <laughs> All right, so, and we'll move ourselves on. Next. We need to do our ability score increase. Um, now we're going to do that last. So we can actually select how we do this, but I'm going to do that bit last. Instead, we're going to pick the ability score generation method. Mm -hmm. 
this is an opportunity for you to say, yes, we will roll dice, but we don't have to roll dice. We can do it any way you like. Pick a ability, score, generation, 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 uh, generation method. Uh, little, little big finger, small phone. Okay, so good with taunt you reckon yeah it could be could be so you get you get how you can have standard array or you can roll the, the dice to determine it or we can have point by so spirit wolf wants to roll i'm going to give you a chance to, oh, he's you can't vote more than once <laughs> you can't put your feedback in more than once i can tell it's your name nor oak me you like rolling stones okay you're gonna roll stones too i feel like i'll, I'll give you a, a chance one more person says rolling and then we'll roll we're probably rolling anyway since there's two people who said roll all right okay so we're going to do things a little differently although we are going to roll we're not going to roll quite the way you're used to no 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 since we're going to roll, we're going to roll at a different end. I can roll here on, so look, D&D Beyond has a button. It says roll, the green buttons are for rolling. I can do that. Or I can manually enter in the dice rolls. That's right. I can manually enter in the dice rolls. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to note down uh, what you guys roll. So... <clears throat> Hello, Thomas uh, Ransford. How are you? Roll them bones. I'm not rolling the bones today. You are rolling the bones today, people. I hope you have four six-sided dice. Um, hashtag roll four, sorry, four, D6 for the ability scores now is it not obvious what i'm trying to get you to do you need to list down all four numbers okay whatever numbers you roll with your dice you need to list down those numbers okay don't roll 13 d6 just four each person you roll you roll this if six of you do this will be all good Okay, if six of you don't do this, then we'll have a problem. But I would like about six people to do this. So you need to roll, and I will take those numbers and I'll do the mass. Okay, the first set is coming in from Noroak. Noroak has got his. So Noroak got a two, a two, a three, and a six. Okay, that's fine. And the next one coming through was Dinomancer rolled four net ones. Well done. Dinomancer, Dinomancer, well, one, a one, a one, and a one, <laughs> oh my god, uh, this is awesome, um, <laughs> Spirit Wolf, what did you get, Spirit Wolf has rolled up, a five, a three, a six, and a five, nice job, um, Dungeons and Chronics, I'll take your number. Take your numbers here. There's D and C Chronics. Here we go. You got a, a four. Thank you, Thomas, for rolling some dice. Four, three, five, and six. Wow. Okay. And then five, we've got Thomas. We need a sixth different person. Is there nobody here with dice on them? So Thomas apparently got a 6, a 6, a 5, and a 5. Hmm. I don't know if I believe Dinomancer's um, 1, so I don't know if I believe Thomas's 6, 6, and 5, 5. But it doesn't matter because, because I don't care. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> the uh, natural ones, <laughs> goodness, it's going, to be, it's going to be interesting putting that 4 somewhere. Uh, no, it's not even a 4, isn't it? It's going to be a 3. We're going to wind up with a three in one of our modifiers. It's an awesome possibility. Um, anyway, so since nobody has rolled up uh, for a sixth, a sixth person hasn't rolled up, what I will do is I will take 
one of my own rolls. So I've got, since if nobody puts it in, I'm going to roll four, four, four dice. Four six-sided dice. It's my turn. That's, uh, that's how, how we roll here. All right. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four dice. And since nobody's, oh, we don't have a, a sixth person who's, who's not the same person rolling, um, I'm going to roll these dice and we'll see what we get. It's going to be a three wisdom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Okay, so I rolled two ones. That's right. And the other two is a one and a four. That's right. That's how bad I rolled. I rolled really, really bad. This is going to be sweet. Sweet, sweet death. Okay, so Noroak, we've got a two, two, three, and a six. So we drop one of the twos, gives us a grand total of uh, nine, 11. Get an 11. Uh, Dynomancer got uh, four ones. So we cross out one of the ones and we get a three. <laughs> uh, uh, this is going to be funny. Whew. Nice job, people. Nice job. Okay, next one. Spirit Wolf got a, a five, a three, a six, and a five. So we're going to we're going to drop the three. And is my um is my YouTube going completely b -b 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 bananas? No, it should be. It's working fine. We're doing we're doing good. We're doing good. It's just my phone that's struggling. Actions. Don't give me actions. Just give me ac Just give me correct information. So. That means a five and a five and a six is a 16. That's pretty good. And then um, Dungeons and Chronics got a four, three, five, and a six. So we get rid of the three, which is the lowest number. And we wind up with a 15. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, nice. And then we get a um, Thomas got a six, a six, a five, and a five. So we drop one of the fives and we get a six, six is 12 and a five is 17. So a very high number. And then Fred got uh, three ones and a four, so get rid of one of the ones, and we wind up with a six. Okay, so let us enter these manually um, by determining where our numbers go. So, I don't want to roll these dice here. Uh, I'm going to enter them manually into the different areas in a second. But for the life of me, for some reason, my phone is not happy and it is uh, it's buffering. Okay, so let's give me a second and I'll see if I can clean this up on my phone. If I clean it up on my phone, then we're all ready to go and I can see what's going on. Right now, I've got no idea what people are saying, uh, which is unfortunate. It's not really what I was hoping for. Why is this? What is going on? Is the, is the internet gone to the wrong location? Oh, apparently it's shifted to there and it could be better on here. So let's try this connection instead. Drink of water. Core blimey, we're going to have a Frankenstein monster. Frankenstein monster. That is what it's going to wind up being today. And let's go with the uh, that stream. Hopefully it works. This is great. Well, it's only great if we wind up with, um, oh my gosh. Low stats, we've got some low stats, we've got some high stats. Um, yeah, it could could be could be a real change to... <laughs> um, you don't roll four um, six-sided and take the best of, of three. Yeah, you do. That's what we just did. We took, we take the best of three. You drop the lowest number. That's what we just did. Um, okay, Johnny B. That's exactly what we did. So... Um, we need to decide where the 17 goes. We know where the 17 is going to go. It's going into charisma, right? Come on, don't be silly. Of course it's going into charisma. 17 for our charisma. And our next highest one, I'm just going to do, do, this, do this now. Um, <clears throat> here we go, hashtag. Uh, what do we... Assign the 16 to. Uh, 
There we go. So, so charisma has got to be the 17. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's a given. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I've got a 16 and I've got a 15 here. Um, I've got an 11, I've got a 6, and I've got a 3. Constitution, fair enough. So, 16. My vote is uh, 3, strength, second lowest is wisdom. Uh, no wise person would deal with the fate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. So we've got the sixteen assigned. Where do we put the three? Let's ask that question. Hashtag. Where do we assign the three? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay, this is this is very funny. I don't think we've ever had this happen. This is the risks you run into when you decide to roll for dice and roll dice for your your ability scores. Is you could wind up getting some very low numbers unless your dungeon master has sort of like a you can never get lower than this. Wisdom. Somebody has said wisdom. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to have a think about that uh, that choice while. Um, Garyon of Rivia says, in strength, you know, you so, uh, Riv strength, okay, it's going to be strength by the looks like, I think, I think it's going to be strength, let's put it into strength, <laughs> do not want to be wearing armor, people, strength is a three, an idiot savant, <laughs> Uh, uh, I got it. It was um, apparently holding the word idiot. I suppose the word idiot is to make sure that people don't call me an idiot in the middle of a stream. So they had blocked that um, YouTube. Charisma. Well, we're not putting it into charisma. <laughs> it's not going into charisma. So the three has been spent. Cool. But we're not finished because there's three more to go. Um, hashtag. Uh, where to assign... A 15. We have a 15. We can put a 15 somewhere. Where to assign a 15? And it's in. I'm waiting for those choices now. So, um, <clears throat> so if you find yourself in a position when you're rolling dice, for example, and your dungeon master is happy to do so, always check with your dungeon master before rolling dice. And when you do roll the dice, unlike this stream, make sure the dungeon master can see you rolling those dice. Some dungeon masters will use four dice, drop the lowest number, and you keep the other three numbers and you add them together. Some dungeon masters will have a different system in place. Some will just have you roll three dice and that's what you get. Uh, so yeah, just you must check with them when you're rolling dice for your ability scores. So, so far, what have we got here? Norok, that's why we have the uh, the mage armor invocation. Exactly, too weak for armor. So Dynamancer said Dex. Norok says Dex. Um, Maurice B, hello Maurice B. Dex for saves. So we're going with Dex. The three votes for Dex. So we'll put a 15 into the Dex. Thank you Maurice for uh, commenting. Uh, it's nice to see you. Welcome to the party. All right, so we've got a 15 done. Um, <laughs> we, we, let's assign the next worst one. Where do we put the six? Hashtag. Um, where, where to assign the six? Because <laughs> I, I got a six when I did my dice. So here it is. Really need an unseen servant now. Yeah, because they're going to have to carry everything. That's uh, going to be absolutely vital is to have that spell because you, the unseen servant's going to be stronger than you are. <laughs> Your kinder is uh, just they spent all their time on the couch watching, you know, um, moving images, um, I mean, illusions. They've never done any weight press, uh, pressing any weights. They've never gone for a, a walk or a run. They, 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 haven't, they haven't done any chores around the house, and so they're so weak. Uh, wisdom. Got to be wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom is going to be the six. My gosh, we're going to go with the wisdom as a six. Oh, oh, love it. There we go. Okay, and our intelligence is going to be 11. 
Um, so there we go. We got an 11 for our intelligence. How's that for some crazy stuff, people? Do you like that? Um, I, I, I find this highly amusing. And it's done our numbers for us. We have some modifiers here that are appallingly bad. <laughs> if you haven't figured it out, the good news is we get to um, do the ability score increase. We have control over this. They are a sickly child. Exactly, exactly. Very um, sickly. So we can go with two choices since we're using the new system. We can increase three scores by plus one or increase one score by a plus two and another one by a plus one. So which system? Um, hashtag increase, in, increase, 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 can I get this word right? Increase, increase ability score, um, it's, uh, this is three plus ones or um, plus one, uh, plus two and a plus one. So that is my question. Let's see what people have put up put forward um explains low yes 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 bump the strength uh, they are six years old they could be six years old so you're going to let me know which one you want to use do we use three plus ones or we use a plus two and a plus one put in your choices now gary on Rivia, um three plus ones do dex and and charisma mm-hmm mm-hmm Spirit Wolf is going for a plus two and a plus one. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll give you guys time to sort of respond because um, that's, I'm that sort of person. I'm such a nice fella. <laughs> they got the attention of the Fae through the, uh, the love of the book, did they? <laughs> uh, dear. Nice. Let me just put some of my dice away. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Um, Dungeons Chronics has gone with a plus two and a plus one. And I will give you guys just enough time while I put my dice away to, to make a decision. It's a make-a-wish child. Make-a-wish child? Okay. Yeah, could be. Could be. <laughs> we are at top of the um, hour, but this is this is a good point for us to actually um, decide, complete this, move on, and then I'll give you some choices to go from there. Thomas, um, or they were six when they, they got sick. They could have been six. So it looks like we're going to go in with a plus two and a plus one. Um, and they are Dungeons and Chronics and Spirit Wolf. But Garen of Riveria has voted for three plus ones. <gasps> We're going to do three plus ones. <clears throat> Why? Because as I said, remember I said, if you do, if you are a regular, um, it's great that you, you are here and commenting. I, I rely on you so much. But if there's somebody new who doesn't usually type anything in, I'm going to take their vote. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with the three plus ones. And we're, so we'll take your suggestion. You had suggested, I believe, Osiris, hello. The Pact Boon of the Blade, Tomb or the Chain? No, we went with the Talisman. We are Talismaning it today. That's a slightly different one. So where are we? We are, uh, you had said, I had almost forgotten what, what you had said. You had said plus ones. Plus ones. Plus ones. And you told me what they were. Oh, there they are. You had said Dex, Int, Charisma. Dex, Int, Intelligence, Dexterity, Intelligence, and Charisma. Charisma. Done. Sweet. So our numbers come out as, our strength is a 3, which means our modifiers are minus 4. Our dexterity is going to be a 16 now, because we get a, a bonus to that. So that's now a plus 3. 
Uh, our constitution is still a 16, so it's plus 3. Our intelligence was an 11, and now it gets a bonus of plus 1, so it goes to 12, so we get a, a modifier of plus 1. Our wisdom is 6, so we get a minus 2 to that baby. And our charisma was a 17, but we bumped bump that up to an 18, so it's now a plus 4. And that, my friends, is how we roll. Um, we will shift on over to the next choice. Hopefully I have, have I pressed all the buttons I was supposed to? I believe I have. Okay. Right. Uh, so, um, I'm going to put in here, hashtag, I kind of like both these names. Or like the dreaded. It's like, we're going to give them two names. One is their real name and one is their, is their alias name. How's that sound? I think that's where we go. Um... The Talisman is a brilliant book. I don't know that I've read it. Okay, so we need to do some other stuff. There are some background stuff that we need to do. You can have any background. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a hashtag, get you to pick a background, any background under the sun, and that's what we'll uh, deal with next. Okay, well, I go take a break. Hashtag, pick a background. Now, Remember, new people commenting and putting something in here, I take your vote over the, the people who come here regularly. Okay, they all understand. Trust me, they're the patrons. Most of them who are in here and doing this, um, they, they, they support me and they, they like the program working the way it is. So they, they just comment to make sure that nobody doesn't, that there's at least somebody saying something and because it's fun. <laughs> so I'm going to go and let you do this. And I, uh, I will be back in a second, and we will continue to build this character up to level three. Uh, Arnold will look after you, but I will be back, just as he has been many times. A dino hermit, really? There's a lot of hermits coming out of here, out of that. A haunted one, noble, uh, living poor now. Oh, okay, you guys are really getting into this? Oh, I see. This was a good idea. Okay, right, so. I think I'm ready. Let's screw, um, let's uh, bring it back over. Wham, just like so. And uh, maybe I'll make my head just a tiny wee bit bigger. Because um, most of you know that my head is slightly bigger than it needed to be. So let's do that. Bam. Okay, cool. Let's go back to where we were going. We were doing with a background. Let's have a look at what we have. Uh, no, I mean the subclass. Uh, let's know. Let's have a look at this. 
poor, cool, blimey. So background, custom. So Dinomancer, you went custom. Noble, Spirit Wolf has gone with... Oh, so, so we got Noble, custom. Um, Osiris is talking about the Talisman. Not sure what that does. Okay, cool, cool. That's fine. I'm moving on. Um, get involved, people. That's right. That's the whole point is get involved. There's no point stepping back. Hermit. We've got a hermit. We've got a hermit twice times two. Um, noble, but living. So, so who's who's voted noble the first time? Is there two nobles now being voted for? Noble, spirit wolf, and noble again. Noble times two. So there's. So we've got a draw between the hermit and the noble. Haunted one. Haunted one. There's no right answer or wrong answer, believe it or not, people. Um, all we're doing is making a character. Uh, talisman. We picked Talisman. Os Osiris. It's a Talisman. Sage. Uh, I see a name I don't normally see in my chat. <clears throat> Sage again. From two people I don't normally see in the chat. Oh, this is good news. I'm so pleased. Guess what? The power of being new... And the power of voting um, is uh, is going to guarantee we get a sage, <clears throat> an ex-soldier. Somebody said soldier. Right. So, as a result of Dynamancer saying sage, not so much, but uh, Jean, 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 I think it's Jean, Jean, I, your circuit, your Grenial, I'm going to screw up your name so bad, man. I'm going to apologize now, okay? I'm bad. I just can't do it. Um, and uh, Rivia, you also said sage. So sage it is. We're saging it. I like sage. Don't you like sage? I like sage. Sage we go. Saging it. Where's my sage? Put my sage in my food. There we go. Sage is in. And we will need a language. Uh, apparently we get a language, part of our origin. Pick language. <clears throat> Hashtag. Let's pick a language. Hashtag pick. Pick a language. Any language. Okay. Just don't say snail talk. Because I don't think that it's an option, snail talk. So we've got a lot of sage. Um, we're saging it um, big time. We've seen so many people. There are three people here who don't normally say very much in my chat and have said sage. So you did it. Well done. Cool. <clears throat> uh, okay. Wah, wahan. 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 I'm a Kiwi. I can barely speak my own name. So if it's still not right, you'll let me know. <laughs> Sylvan. We got Sylvan. Um, uh, Sylvan and we've got Draconian. Okay. All right. Okay. So we've got two different potential languages. We can have any language we like, people. It's really, it's up to you. The only language that's not here is Wahan or um, um, Fred. It's not a language. Thomas, Sage. Uh, well, Sage is not a language, I'm pretty sure. Draconic. Okay, we've got a couple of Draconics, so we'll go Draconic. That's fine. We can go Draconic. It's very, I mean, it's Dragonlance, isn't it? Kender, Dragonlance, got to talk to dragons. Then we tell, I mean, imagine a Kender that's a warlock. Talks to dragons and then steals their shit. I mean, that's <laughs> that'll cause some problems, won't it? Undercommon. We've got some undercommon suggestions here. Swahili, Swahili <laughs> purple worm. Okay, all right. Moving down. Let's pick some uh, some skills. I believe we get some skills as well. We get a one. Is it one skill? We get history and something else. So pick a skill. Hashtag. Uh, pick a skill. Part of our background, we get a, a skill. We've already got history, but we get another one, okay? Now, why is that? It's probably because we've already got this uh, one of the skills that is part of this background, and uh, so you just swap that out for something else. So picking a skill. Isn't magic originally written in Draconic? Yes, it is. Sylvan and some uh, divine languages? I believe so. Deception. Dynamance is suggesting um, um, deception, which is, like, all cool. Uh, we have acrobatics, animal handling, athletics, intimidation, investigation, medicine, nature, perception, uh, performance, uh, persuasion, uh, religion, sleight of hand, 
and don't say it. Uh, stealth survival. Stealth performance deception, I believe. Um, deception has already been picked, so we don't need to worry about that. Performance. Spirit Wolf has said performance, and then we have stealth. Uh, okay, so we're going to go with performance. Since um, our our new um, <clears throat> our new found friends have not mentioned anything themselves, uh, we'll we'll go with we'll go with performance unless of course they they pipe in. Uh, you know, if they if it's taken a bit of time to come through the feed, then I'll change it. But performance it is performance in history. Sweet, we get a we get a, a, a language. We get more than one language. We get two languages. Pick we're gonna pick two languages, people. Two more languages, man. Multilingual speaker, this uh, the Skender. Pick a language. Pick a language, any language. If we've already got the language, we won't pick that one. Performance is good. Rivia, you believe? Okay. Cool. Goron of Rivia. Goron of Rivia. Goron of Rivia. <sighs> Can I get it right? Maybe. Okay, so we are waiting on our next set of choices uh we have our performance down we just need some languages we have the researcher background uh, i know as a dungeon master it is very hard to get your head around this particular um, paragraph just open your heart and your mind it is possible to have something that just works spanish mike good point do we have spanish here Okay, no, there's no Spanish here, Mike. So let's bomb uh, Wizards of the Coast on social media and uh, torture them so much that they have to add Spanish to the languages available on d and I'm only kidding. <laughs> Don't ever do that, please. Um, since they already have enough of that um, stuff going on as it is. So uh, <laughs> let's have a look at the languages. Undercommon is a good idea. Elven, Giant... Celestial Undercommon. Um, <laughs> Hello, Mike, by the way. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I am not giving you a hard time um, at all, but um, your your uh, your choice was amusing, <laughs> since it is not there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good joke. <laughs> anyway, um, the goodness already slammed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abyss is um, the second because our warlock was uh, <laughs> was visited by a benevolent succubus on his way to redemption. <laughs> uh, okay, sure, we'll do we'll do abyssal and then I'll go back to the other one that was suggested. Where is it? Abyssal. <laughs> and then um, then what was the other one? Oh, undercommon. Norok had said undercommon. So undercommon. Where is undercommon? That'll be down the bottom here. Under common. Under my commons. Okay, there we go. We've got it. Sweet. Suggestions. So those of you who don't know, we're going to roll. This is going to disappear. Like rolling for um, personality traits, ideals, bonds, and flaws, or just selecting them off a chance, they're going to get rid of it. So this is your time. So hashtag roll a D8. For personality. 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 Okay. Send it. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> now, here are some options for those who um, don't know them. Um, Sylvan, Celestial, Infernal, Abyssal, Undercommon, Deep Speech, Draconic, giant, orcish, um, and goblin. You know, one of the things I find interesting is when I, um, I bump into people who know more than one language or more than two languages. So if you know Spanish, for example, the chances are you also speak English and potentially another language as well. Whereas in comparison to myself, I can struggle, I struggle with just one language. Um, okay, Spirit Wolf got a six. Norok got a one. Nice job. I'm doing fantastic. I meant it as a joke. No, I, I, I got the joke, Mike. I did. And I'm glad you thought it was funny. <laughs> Big fan. I love all your videos on the topics. Yes, great. Thank you very much. And if um, if you have dice, uh, this is the time. Uh, the regulars are getting in here and are rolling. So we, we do have some dice so I can pick some personality traits. 
we're going to keep moving fairly quickly, otherwise we'll run out of time. I want to pick some spells. We don't get that many spells, but we do get some. Six, personality trait. What do we get? I speak slowly when talking to idiots, which almost everyone is compared to me. I feel like this is taking the piss just a little bit. Uh, Senior Fred. <laughs> so let's put it in. <laughs> um, next one. Uh, somebody rolled a one. Noroak, you got a one. So let's take your one. And your one is I use multi sold No, they don't. No, they don't. No, that's not going to work. If I had to pick the number six, it can't be that one. So we'll go down and look at another number. Um, oh, the Dungeons and Chronics got a seven. I might come to the back to that, but um, Jean, you already got a six. I think I've already picked six, so we've got six already. So we've selected that. We've done that one. So, but, but Dungeons and Chronics, you rolled a seven. What was that? I am horribly, horribly awkward in social situations. Very fitting. Let's do this one. Like that'll do. Let's grab those two now. We're going to roll a six-sided dice. Now, for those of you who don't know, you never come to my stream without dice because it's a bad idea. Roll a d6 for ideal. Bam, like that. Six is awesome um, and also horrifically funny considering what is happening to our character uh, in many respects. You got a five. So Spirit Wolf off the bat, the super fast internet with super fast fingers with, uh, yeah. <laughs> Has anybody else got a number that's coming in? I'm going to just scroll down a little bit. So we've got a five, we've got a three. Do we have a third number? Is so anybody else rolling dice or were you all sort of like busy? You're probably at work. You're probably supposed to be doing something. You can't be rolling dice on your desk. <clears throat> You've got your earplugs in. It's like, oh, can they can they actually hear me? You're like, I'm just... <clears throat> Stick it in a book so they look like I'm reading some notes at work. <laughs> anyway, so we'll take the five. Five from um, Spirit Wolf, you got, what is this? Power. Knowledge is the path to power and domination. Evil. An evil kender. Can you imagine an evil kender? Power. A little, 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 this little bugger. He's a little, he's a little bugger. Okay, let's just pick it anyway. <laughs> and then bond. I'm going to use Noroak's three for our bond. Okay. I work to preserve a library, university, um, or monastery. Really? Sure, why not? Maybe they do. I don't know why. Something evil. Okay, anyway, flaws. Um, we need another D6, people. Hashtag. Roll a D6. Okay, I need a floor. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what races? Um, we're, a, we're a Kenda. We're using Dragon Lance as Kenda today. Um, it's been released. I have, ava I have it available, so we're using it today. So, it's kind of time. Species, race, you know. Species, race. We'll talk about this at the end of the week. I'm talking about this with um, Jordan from Flute Sloot. So, uh, we'll be going over the Unearthed Arcana. I'm fond of other people's secrets. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so, everybody's rolling ones. It looks like there's ones galore. I'm easily distracted by the promise of information. I can't keep a secret to save my life <laughs> or anyone else's. Um, <laughs> so we've got a two. Uh, most people scream and run when they see a demon. I stop and take notes. Uh, I actually kind of like, I kind of like the idea of I am easily distracted by the promise of information. But, <clears throat> Dynamancer, your flaw of I am fond of other people's secrets is, I mean, to be fair, it's brilliant. But I'm going to select the one, and then I will demonstrate the other bit. So I'll go add. So Dynamancer, your, your, your write-up your, is not wasted. You'll see what I mean. Alignment, um, we're going to just say it's neutral. I don't know where to put this thing. 
Uh, lifestyle. Pick a lifestyle. Thomas got a three. What was three on this thing? Three would have been unlock an ancient mystery is worth the price of a civilization. Holy Toledo. Thomas. We'll pick that one as well. Um, there we go. We'll put that in as well. There. Got it. Got it, Thomas. Nice. 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 <laughs> uh, in fact, let's give it three floors. <laughs> Maybe even four. <laughs> it's not like we're going to be playing this character. Um, yes, it's use the secrets against them. Exactly. So um, so pick a lifestyle. Hashtag. Hashtag. Pick a lifestyle. Life style. Now, what are the lifestyles? I will tell you what the lifestyles are. Lifestyles are currently... Wretched, squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy, aristocrat. Depending on which one you want, that's the one we'll pick. Um, emperor, emperor something. So, which is it going to be? Which is it going to be? Is it going to be wretched, squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy, aristocrat? They have different values. So it costs you more money for poor. Poor, Noroka said poor. Spirit Wolf has said emperor. I don't think there's no emperor there. I think that, do you mean, and when you say emperor, you mean aristocrat. Is that kind of what you're going at? Mm. We'll go with p -p -p poor. We've got a p -p poor. Okay. Thomas rolled a four. What's the four for? The four is for something. I don't know which one the four is. And anyway, anyway, it's all right. Um, it, maybe it's the lag. Okay, so let's go down here. I'm not going to fill in any of this sort of stuff. Um, because I, yeah, we'll do something else. Sages can be rich. Um, yeah, they can sell information. So, now somebody had to, pumped in here a floor, and I'm taking the floor, since we've got so many floors here, like this Kenda should have more floors. Like, uh, Kenders are flawed, are they not? Um, I am fond of other people's secrets so you can edit it and add in your own you can take out stuff um, so that is done we've added it in we've got far too many flaws making this character completely crazy more than an aristocrat. Oh, I see. We don't have more than an aristocrat. Emperor is hard to, you know, like, I don't think there's an option for that. Anyway, notes. We can go into notes. We can add in here organizations, allies, enemies, backstory, and other things with the add the green button. The the add notes with the green button. Add the green button. No, we're not adding the green button. Um, so <laughs> that's, I think we've done everything here we were supposed to do. We've selected all the bits and pieces. We've got our languages. We've got our background. We've got, like, we've got everything under the sun. Um, we can pick, we can pick something here. We've got Kenda pictures. Oh my gosh, I feel like, which Kenda? This is the evil Kenda. Oh, the middle one is the evil Kenda. Oh, the evil Kenda it is. Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the Kenda that the party wants to kill. <laughs> um, do me a favor, when you're playing a Kenda, don't be a prick to the other players, Okay. Um, by all means, torture the dungeon masters, monsters and NPCs, but not the player characters that you're playing with. Not a good move. Okay, starting equipment. So we're going to go with just selecting the equipment and then we'd go with um, spending some gold. We normally do this. So there's a couple of choices to be made. Um, Woolock gets stuff, basically. Hashtag. Uh, pick. Now, what do we get? We get a simple weapon. Simple weapon or light crossbow. Light cross, light crossbow. Bingo. There we go. So, while you guys are, you chappies are all figuring out, simple weapon, Spirit Wolf is in there fast. He's like a speed demon. Um, he's, uh, he's running on NOS, um, pimped out on something. Jacked up on sugar. He's got the internet of uh, 
unwavering <laughs> like nobody seems to be able to keep up with you so weapon simple simple weapon dagger so sickle somebody's going with the sickle somebody wants a sickle we're back to a sickle again I'm not against the idea of a sickle. Simple, a simple weapon, it sounds like we're going with a simple weapon. We, we don't want to use a crossbow. Why would we want to use a light crossbow? We're going to shoot stuff with our Eldritch Blast, are we not? Um, Thomas, it is the lag. Yes, yes, it'll be the lag. Sorry sorry about that, Thomas. I, I don't even remember what the four was related to anymore. So, it's, it's, so we're going to go with a simple weapon. We got a dagger and we got a, a sickle. Now, it could be a sickle, could be a dagger. Um... I usually have to watch you later, but I'm um, currently laid up with a cracked rib and muscle damage. Oh dear. I have to say, I am having a great time with this. I am glad you are. The idea is that it is actually supposed to be fun to build the character together. And this is one of the reasons. Do you know why I do this? Why the hell do I do a live stream of building a character? I've always said you need to build a character together. And this is why I'm trying to indicate to you how much more fun would you have if you built this character with your group that you're going to play with compared to you just build this group um, this character on your own with nobody else around. I can trust me, man. It's so much more fun when there's other people around. Okay, so we've got a club, we've got a sickle, we've got a uh, somebody's going on about a light crossbow. I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, Dynomancer has said, um, I, what is that? What is that? I don't know what that weapon is. I don't think we have that as an option. Mike, uh, we should name our weapon Pop. Really? Pop. A club. Okay, so, based on the fact that Riviera has a, has put in a <laughs> put in a, a vote, and we don't normally see um, a vote from you, and the others have, we're going to take your club. We're going to club them. We're going to club everybody. There we go. Right now, we're going to pick the next thing. <laughs> Chaotic and fun... Let's pick, a, so we're going to have to go with an arcane focus or a component pouch. Hashtag, uh, pick, uh, uh, pick an arcane focus or a component, component pouch, pouch. Let's see how we go here. Hashtag something like that. We've got a, so we've got a um, a focus hag. Somebody wants to have a focus. What a hag is your focus? Is it like a mini hag, or is it just part of the hag where you just cut the hair off? You you're doing like the um, so we're wanting a focus. It looks like we're getting focuses today. Component pouch. All right, just to, just to shake things up. Two for the focus. One for the pouch. And an anus hag jawbone is our is our is our focus. <laughs> uh, dear. So so far we have two choi um, two two votes for a focus, Mike. Uh, we could have a sickle named Pop. Yes, we could, you can call this if you want to call the sickle Pop. Heck, even the club can be called Pop. So I feel like it's going to be a an arcane focus. And so far, it seems to me that we're looking for something very weird that is not here. We're just going to say arcane focus. And it's a, a hag's jawbone. Is that right? An anus hag's jawbone is our spell focus. Let me guess. The anus hag was not paying attention and was asleep. And the kender popped out the jawbone while the anus hag was sleeping. <laughs> okay. Steel is pretty unforgiving, and uh, we have to always come to the thick of the idea. Jawbone it is. Okay, so hashtag, let's go with the pick a pack. Pick. There are two packs. You get the Scholar's Pack or the Dungeoneer's Pack. Pick a pack. Pick a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper said, pick a pack. <sighs> oh, yeah. Kenda stole my jawbone. I was sleeping. I was... I was having a, a <clears throat> what is it called? Is it a hangover? I was drinking so heavily last night. Fell asleep. Slept for 14 hours. Woke up in the morning. Thought something was strange. Went to brush my teeth and my jawbone was gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kinder stole my jawbone. <laughs> so dungeons. 
so the Dungeoneer pack, somebody says gone gone with let's go with the Dungeoneer's pack. Do we want the Skull's pack? Is there a different vote? We you can't have the Explorer's pack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you only get a choice. You get the Scholar's pack or the Dungeoneer's pack. Well, I do talk too much, but I'm in the live stream, and since there's nobody else here with me, other than you guys, and you can't talk to me, I kind of have to talk. Or sip water. Anyway. It's alright, because we're going to get ourselves an Unseen Servant spell, so that the Unseen Servant can carry the pack. Uh, <laughs> uh, strength of six. Well, you never know. We get everybody else to do our work for us. So, so a Dungeoneer's pack. <laughs> since nobody wants anything else, we're going to go with the Dungeoneer's pack. This is going to be funny. <laughs> Maybe he can drag it behind him. <laughs> anyway, so we get leather armor, any simple weapon, and two daggers, and we get something else. So we get to make a. We get to pick another weapon. So, pick a weapon. Hashtag. Pick a pick a weapon. Now I will tell you what the weapons are. Pick a weapon, baby. Um, does a mage need a spell book still? Um, yes, John. Uh, a wizard needs a spell book, but the other spellcasters don't need necessarily need a spell book. Okay. Kinder have no bones, only cartilage. <laughs> Hello, Seeker. Oh, I'm running a level one warlock at the moment. Oh, are you? Hello, Seeker. How are you? Supporter of the channel in a mysterious way. Um, <laughs> so it looks to me like we're getting a weapon coming through. We're getting a dagger. Dagger, heavy crossbow. I don't know that a heavy crossbow. We get a light option for a light crossbow, but not a heavy crossbow. Anus, hag, thigh bone. We can't. That's, that's a club. You want another club? We've already got a club. We get a dagger. Dagger it is, or dagger it, dagger, okay, um, there, there were, there were options, but nobody said the sickle again, so I didn't put the sickle down, all right, so the dagger, Noro gets it, you, you, you made it happen, all the other stuff that you guys have written in here is not related to my question, which is fine, because we still made the decision, anyway, so once we've got everything, you cannot move on until you read hit the, you gotta hit the red button usually red buttons mean you launch the nuclear missiles but this one doesn't it says add starting equipment so it's all right to press this red button okay because nothing bad will happen uh but if you see another red button it's a different story so we're going to use our pack so once we get here turn on the pack so we can use it and of course now that we have a pack that's our limit. We can. That's all we. We can't put anything in it because we're not strong enough. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We'll take it off. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to wield our club. Okay. Um, I wonder if uh, wielding the club or the dagger is going to put us over our weight limit. Uh, uh, turn on the dagger. Uh, we've got two daggers. Don't need to turn on both. We've got three daggers here. How do we wind up with three daggers? Somewhere along the line, something went, went um, haywire. Turn on the leather armor probably not going to turn on the leather armor because you may not be able to wear the leather armor you're going to have to rely on your spell but if you want to let's turn on the leather armor and see if they we're overweight we might wind up not being able to carry the leather armor this is going to be entertaining like i've never built a character with a strength of three this is the first time okay needs a purple dog to ride up uh, possibly let's have a look let's see if we are over encumbered by wearing our leather armor and I don't see it yet, but it's possible. So first off, let's just have a look at... Uh, so this breaks it all down for you. You get your ability score um, uh, modifiers along the top, your proficiency, your walking speed, your armor class, your initiative, your saving throws, all your skills are listed in the... Where it's got a dot, that's the ones we, that are, you're actually trained and proficient in, so that's good news. Um, we've got our passive checks all worked out, our proficiencies are all listed. We've got a bucket load of languages. We've got four languages with this. Like, this is a lot. So, um, we're going to go to... I'm going to go to inventory. I just want to have a check. We are unencumbered. So we're not over the limit. We can wear that armor for now. So we're going to go to spells. Because we don't actually have all our spells. So we're going to manage our spells. Spell selection time, people. Has another kinder as a manservant. That's possibly the case. Or... If we have enough money, maybe we need to go with known spells. Add a spell. Packed magic. Why am I? 
Why am I at a loss as to what I'm supposed to do with our spells? So at level three, we should be getting four known spells. We have two slots and our spot slot level goes up to second level. And we've got our two invocations, that's done. We've got two cantrips. So let's add some spells. Uh, so let's go with the add spells. Where is it? Mage armor, da da da. Those are the Eldritch invocations. Add spells, cantrips. We need two cantrips. So I'm not making this a choice, people. We are taking Eldritch Blast. Okay? It is silly not to take Eldritch Blast if you are a warlock. Hashtag. Pick a cantrip. Pick a cantrip. Cant my trip. Okay, pick a cantrip. Let's have a cantrip, people. Um, I've got to head out. Not a problem, Mike. Thank you for joining us. We're going to do fine. We're going to have a good time. Um, so, picking a cantrip. So we only get two cantrips. We're going to take Eldritch Blast. Later on, we'll get more cantrips. We only get a maximum of four cantrips. And, of course, there is a bunch of cantrips that a Warlock can have. Um, tensors, Disc, Friend. Friend, mate, we're going to make so many enemies with Friend. Uh, tensors, Disc is not a bad idea. Unseen Servant. <laughs> Unseen Servant, I don't believe, is necessarily a... Um, a, 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 a cantrip, I, I believe. I believe that's not a cantrip, okay? So let's have a look. Since we're dealing with cantrips at this present time, Tense's disc is not a cantrip. Good idea. Friend is a cantrip. A very dangerous choice, Didomancer, as you know. Message, Norok has said message. Um, unseen servant, we can't do that. Prestidigitation, Jean, Jean, uh, you are in. Juan, 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 Juan. There we go. Prestidigitation. Um, it can do almost everything. Uh, probably cannot wipe your bum. That's probably the only thing it can't do. So we've <laughs> we've selected our spells for that, which is good. We still need to know have some known spells. Our known spells are going to be slightly different so we're going to be going uh, first level and second level I believe first and second level known spells correct so uh, hashtag pick some first and second level spells There we go. I've I've typed it in. Oh, it can. But it can't use toilet paper. You need mage hand for that. Which what? Charm person. Um, so we had some, are they rituals? Look, if you can pick a ritual, that's a probably a good idea. But again, problem with a warlock is <laughs> it doesn't quite work the way you might like. Um, anyway, so scrolling down, uh, where did it go? It just vanished on me. I don't want to do that. I want to go up. Add spells. Back spells. No. Down. Darn it. Go here. There. Is this working now? Apparently not. Just giving me all the spells. Uh, so. Nope. First level spells. Unseen Servant. Somebody had said Unseen Servant and Tenses Floating Disc. I don't know that we get access to Tenses Floating Disc if we are a Warlock, but I do believe... No, we don't. But we can have Unseen Servant, which we're going to need because it's going to have to carry our bag. Okay, so we've got one. That's one decision made. Uh, friends. Somebody wanted to pick Friends as a first level spell. Is it? No, it's a, it's a cantrip. We're going to leave friends alone. It's a dangerous spell, that one. Message is cantrip. We don't need that one. Unseen servants. We've got that one now. Um, create bonfire. You want to burn things? Is Eldritch Blast not enough? 